If you've been using Adobe XD for some time, you're probably aware of the fact that managing missing fonts in the XD document can be a bit cumbersome with the whole back and forth process of figuring out which fonts are missing, loading those fonts on your machine, and then reopening the XD document to register the changes. With the latest release of Adobe XD, we've all but made this tedious process disappear. Let me show you what I mean. I'm here in Adobe XD, and as I work within the application, I can access fonts both loaded at an OS level and those that I've added from the Creative Cloud application. To simulate the missing font scenario, let me come in and go ahead and close out this XD file. Next, I'm going to switch over to the font book. This is a utility on my Mac OS system that allows me to control those OS level fonts. I'd like to go ahead and disable the Your Style Next family of fonts. So I'll come in and select it and then select disable that family to in essence turn it off. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come over to the Creative Cloud and here within the Creative Cloud application, click on fonts and then I'll click on manage fonts. From here, I'm going to click over to my favorites tab. Next, I'll come in and disable each of these typeface families by clicking on this toggle switch. Now that I've disabled each of these typefaces, I'm going to switch back over to the XD application and reopen that document. Now this is going to happen rather quickly. You're going to want to look to the left-hand column in the Assets panel as the document opens up. So notice here that I've got um, a series of assets. As I scroll down, I can see a new missing fonts area. And I'm getting an update indicator that's letting me know that there are missing typefaces that are being automatically loaded from the Creative Cloud font area. All of those Creative Cloud typefaces are now loaded, but I'm still missing two of the typefaces that were loaded at an OS level, the Your Style family of fonts. Now I can go back out to that font book and re-enable those typefaces as I did with the Creative Cloud fonts, or if I no longer want to use those typefaces, we now make it much easier to replace it with another typeface that I do want to use. Let's go ahead and zoom in on some of the content here to make it a bit easier to see. And what I can do is look for the occurrence of this typeface. So if I come here to the missing fonts area and in the right menu, click on highlight on canvas, I can see the occurrence of those typefaces. At this point, if I want to switch to another typeface, again, in that right menu, I'm going to select replace font and I can just come in and select a different typeface that I'd rather use. Clicking OK will come in and replace all of the occurrences of that missing typeface with the one that I've just selected. One point you may want to keep in mind with this new workflow is if you load many documents with many different fonts in Adobe XD, you'll want to stop by the Creative Cloud font area and deactivate any of the fonts you're no longer using just to keep things neat and clean. I encourage you to give this new workflow improvement a try.